Hey everyone, this is AVJV Gaming bringing you this Team of the Season player review. And as you can see up on screen, we're going to be reviewing the Team of the Season Adam Lalana in this video. And you can see that I picked him up for 165 thousand coins as a center mid with an artist chemistry style now this guy over here has got four star skill moves four star weak foot he's got a nice high attackive work rate with a medium defensive work rate right foot player and you guys can also see some of the stats for my club so he played nine games for us uh scored 10 goals and got four assists and that's something i found really nice about him and you guys are going to see in just a second after we cover the in-game stats some gameplay and my review at the end of him uh exactly you know how i felt he was as a player and i'm going to explain to you because i played him as a cdm as a CM, a centre mid, uh, yeah, centre attacking mid, and a centre forward. I never played him as a striker. Now, looking at those in-game stats, straight at the skill attributes, there's some really high 90s over there at the top. Ball control being 91, um, dribbling being 94, which I did find was quite nice. Him and Ramsey, because I did review the team of the season, Ramsey, sort of had really good dribbling, and that's something I found very nice within the two players, and they're both around the same price as well. Uh, looking at his finishing, 84, I would definitely say his finishing was quite nice. Whenever he was 1-on-1 -on -one with the keeper, he more or less did put it in, but I'd say it was more or less 8 out of 10 times, so it wasn't the most perfect ratio, but uh, in terms for a midfielder, he did a very solid job. Now, even passing-wise, I loved his long swerve passes. That was something I found very unique, and you can see over there his short passes. It was more or less just using the A or X button, whichever you guys use as your short pass button. Um, depending if you're on Xbox or PS3 or PS4 or Xbox One. But yeah, just pretty much the short passes were just, you know, normal. But uh, the precision on them was quite nice. Now, looking over to player information, you can see there, he's actually one of the few um, players that is a four-star skiller and four-star weak foot. That is English. And I think everyone would have also said that, you know, Jay Rodriguez should have also been a team of the season card. But... You know, there's a bit of debate on that one over there. But anyway, um, I would have liked to use him in a squad as well. But anyway, physicals, uh, attributes over there. You can see they were not too bad. And moving over into the mental attributes, uh, this guy's definitely got his vision set at 82. So he's a very nice at finding those through balls, interceptions as well, being at 82 with attack positioning, quite nice. I found him quite decent as a centre forward. Probably a little bit more enjoyable as a cam and a centre forward than he was as a centre mid or CDM in my team. But definitely, guys, I'm telling you this right now, do not play this guy as a CDM. All of his attributes are just make him more of an attackive player and also center forward so as you can see that i put him more or less as a cam in game uh swapped him around with cleverly and you can see i got ramsey on the bench i did use ramsey in every single game i did actually just take him off purely for cleverly um in a few games and you can see here berbatov really great player finding the ball into lalana and look at that riding those bikes and he's a very acrobatic player that's something i found very nice with him some of the players I've reviewed so far, not very acrobatic, but Lalana was definitely that. And over here, using the ball roll, drag back, going into a scoop, going with a fake shot, going into the final shot, and the keeper just managing to make a save. And over here, my opponent being rather cheeky, bringing out the keeper, and Lalana will dispatch that one over there with his weak foot. So, in terms of weak foot, I'd probably say I couldn't find any flaws in it. It was a really nice weak foot, and that's something that is quite nice to have in a team, a player that is double-footed. He really didn't need to say don't really need to put five star weak foot because he did tuck in more or less with his left foot and uh, get some really solid shots in now one of the main things i definitely say was a really good strength of his was his penalties and look at this for someone who's only got around 79 penalties um he always tucked it into the side of the net and i don't have any idea all i did was hold it for around i think it was two seconds or so and he always tucked it into the side net and that's something i found really fun in a penalty taker as well because he doesn't have the best penalty stats he's more or less a free kick taker and also just tucking in along the bottom over there. I actually got loads of penalties with him. And that was the uh, funny thing. Because he's a skiller, uh, you can get uh, quite a few penalties. And always hitting the side nets or just hitting straight down the middle is quite always a really enjoyable thing to have. Now over here, putting a few skill moves together with a roulette. A ball roll into the drag back. Go with another roulette to beat that defender. And this was actually one of my favorite skill runs with him. He just demolishes defenses with his dribbling ability. And then also the skill moves. Always quite nice to have in the team. Now crossing wise from corners and overall crossing was really good it was actually much more accurate than i would have thought and expected because it wasn't really having such high expectations and this is here my through ball the swerve through ball he did this quite often and yeah when you've got good strikers up front like berbatov and uh kone i just mainly had that to um just really try to highlight um Lalana to his full advantage and you can see there Ramsey picking off a header if you guys haven't seen my Ramsey review do check that one out that was just an absolute crazy player to review and I've still got my Ramsey uh, he's actually gone up by 40k so quite a bit of nice profit to be made over there and also yeah pick up some of your team of the season players a bit early now in terms of finesse shots 
not too bad, but I would have said the longer finesse shots were not as good as they should have been. Free kick wise, really nice stats over there, quite even, except for the curve being 93. And uh, he did cause a lot of keepers, a lot of issues from free kicks. Now, that's one thing I like to have in a team, a free kick take. I'd probably put him more of a... I'd have to say more of a Lampard, not Gerrard, because I haven't tried that team of season Gerrard, but uh, normal Lampard, definitely way better than him in terms of free kicks, purely just the getting the accuracy in the free kicks. Now, off the dribble, uh, left trigger, right trigger, dribbling-wise, very, very good play. You can see how he gets through players like David Luiz and company in the squads, and it's quite fun over there. Here I'm up against a Cialini and Ogbonna, I believe it was, and uh, he just works his magic, and with their weak foot, not too bad. I was using manual controllers, so couldn't really put it past him now over here you can see through balls yet again very strong point for this player so over there the pros and the cons we do have that he is very acrobatic definite good strength point curve on his long passes which was really nice great at penalties uh good ball control and dribbling which is nice to have in a team because you want one of those players like really good at keeping the ball at their feet not losing the control and uh, very nice strong weak foot provided you guys don't use manual controllers full on manual now over there the weaknesses I did find were his long shots were not as good as they could have been very weak at CDM not very good defensively and his long finesse shots were not perfect as in comparison to Ramsey so I've given him a 9.2 still a really great rating because I do really rate this guy really well and I think the only price would be only issue would probably be his price so definitely if you guys would like to try this guy out be sure to check him out uh, try him out let me know exactly if you've already tried him and already given him a go let me know what you think down below in the comment section and if you have any other team of the season players you'd like me to review I just got my Sterling from EA so I'm going to be trying to review him later on tonight and have him out for you guys tomorrow and I've also got Mertesacker review uh, I think that'll be later tonight so yeah hopefully Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. By all means, drop it a like, subscribe. This has been AVJV Gaming, and I'll catch you all for the next video.